My friend, introduce me. I'm James Gomez, candidate for the Aljunit GRC. <laughs> And I'm standing in the 2006 general election as a Singaporean. One of my colleagues earlier, Eric Sun, who was standing in the East Coast GRC, said he's coming out to talk to you. I want to talk to you. My colleague Raisa said, we are here to serve you. And we are here to serve you. But we also, in the service, not only need to talk to you, but also to talk to the PAP. And today, dear friends, I am talking to the PAP. I am opening the attack on the PAP manifesto and providing a preliminary defense of the PAP remarks with regard to the Workers' Party manifesto. But before I begin, let me share with you how we at the Workers' Party will proceed with our campaign. We will be rational, we will be responsible, but we will be thoughtful. We will deliver the blows with the strike of the hammer. The symbol of the workers' party. But I believe I will need a bigger hammer. Thank you, sir. In anticipation of the general election, some, to be held sometime earlier this year, 2006, the Workers' Party decided to publish its manifesto in January. We want to give you, the public, the voters, ample time to study the comprehensive and detailed policy we propose. We also ask the PAP to do the same thing. We have nothing. Instead, when we publish the manifesto, they try to ask us to remove some policy ideas from the manifesto. Ideas that you are supposed to judge and vote on. But they ask us to remove it. And we say, no. No way. Three months later, the TAP has finally put out its manifesto. And when I read it, I understood why. You don't need much time to read it. <laughs> Instead of debating the manifesto, the PAP resorted to asking existing opposition MPs to contest the GRC, but they didn't debate the manifesto. They asked the opposition to contest Marine Parade, but they didn't debate the manifesto. Instead, they threatened you, the voters, with a carrot and stick of denying you the upgrading but nothing on the manifesto. I hope now that the nomination day is over, we will move to the real political debate. 
with the PAP. As I said earlier, we are here, and me in particular, to lead the attack against the PAP manifesto, and we are talking to the PAP. Let me compare the Workers' Party manifesto and the PAP manifesto. The PAP manifesto is a nine-page document. The Workers' Party manifesto is a 52-page document. They have 15 pictures in the PAP manifesto. But I'm sad to say, but maybe it's a good thing, the Workers' Party manifesto doesn't have any pictures. Not even in the front cover. The PAP manifesto has roughly a sum of 1,300 words. If you remove the number of words of the letter of Lee Tien Lung in the beginning, <laughs> then it falls around 900 words only. The Workers' Party Manifesto has 12,000 words, approximately. I know quantity is not quality, but I assure you, we have taken every step to ensure it is. Let me share with you how the Workers' Party proceeded with its manifesto. It took us more than two years to put it together. We researched. We organized public discussions. We organized small discussions. And then we went out to talk to the experts, the academics, the people who knew about the various policies areas. And then we commissioned a six-member task force from the Workers' Party who looked at all the information that was gathered, divided it into 14 areas of national policy. And by the way, the CAP manifesto focuses on six. And after careful deliberation, we presented the document to our council, and then we made a presentation to our members before making it public. Nevertheless, of course, we all like to use metaphors. You might have heard about the time bomb. They like to use explosive language. If you ask me, does the Workers' Party manifesto contain any explosives? My answer is yes. It's dynamite. It's going to knock them out. Knock out all this old-fashioned policies that hold us back, policies that you want changed. We want them blown out. But those are their choice of words, not ours. We too like to use metaphors. When some of the younger candidates were introduced, they were asked to respond to the PAP manifesto. Some of our young members are English educators. And their response to the PAP manifesto was, where is the beef? <laughs> I know tonight, I hear tonight, that there are many Hokkien speaking friends here. So for you, what it means is the PAP manifesto Bo Liao. <laughs> what 
que a partir da libertação, o leal. O que a partir que a gente é o leal. O que a partir o leal. Me põe aí. One more. That's right, it's the whole year. They talk about the phrase third world to first. I think I've heard it before. Probably in a second hand bookstore somewhere. <laughs> But I'm not sure. Singaporean and Singapore is first world. There's no doubt in my mind. But it does not mean that the government and the PAP is first world. <laughs> Don't be credit. Singaporeans and Singapore is first world. And this is the message I want to leave with you today. You are first world, Singapore is first world, but the PAP government is not. And this job, thank you, thank you. And as I say today, in my beginning, today I'm opening the attack on the PAP manifesto and provided a pre preliminary defense of the Workers' Party Manifesto. We are here to serve you. We are here to talk to you. But we also know that we have to talk to the PAP. The fight is on. The campaign is on. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is James Gomez. I'm Singaporean and I'm standing as a candidate in Australian GRC.